My name is Grant Meekwell and I'm Director of Operations for Sea Shepherd New Zealand. It's been a concern for Sea Shepherd New Zealand now for quite some time as the salmon farms. My name is Jose Gaicano. Today we're diving close to salmon farms in the Marlboro Sounds because we suspect that there is a lot going on under this farm. Well, my name is Rob Dickinson and I'm the ex-coordinator of Queenstown New Zealand. My role today was uh, being an assistant diver. Yeah, it's a, it's a stunning area, it's my second time in here. It's beautiful uh, and it should stay that way. My concern about the salmon farms is that we've got a large amount of concentrated effluent. It's out of sight, out, out of mind. A farmer on land wouldn't get away with it. And where's all the effluent going? That, that's the big question. As in Canada, they've actually proven that the diseases are coming out of the farms and into the wild fisheries. If King Salmon decide to put more of these farms in, what's the long-term effect going to be? have massive death of salmon because of bacteria. So we know that this is an unnatural way to grow food. So the, today the diving was a lot cl clearer, very calm, so we, we, we dropped down alongside the nets. We could see the salmons from a distance because there's a net that surrounds the, the salmon farms that keeps the seals and dolphins and other wildlife out, so we could see them from a distance, but they seemed very, very agitated and uh, just swirling around in circles. It, I, I would call it the underwater prison. I think people should really start to think about what they're consuming. Yes, there's the marine side of it and there's also the, the health side to it. What we saw is that there is nearly no life. It's just a muddy, lifeless bottom. The Marlboro Sounds used to have beautiful sea grasses, amazing life. That's not what we, we saw. It's obviously having a big impact on the ecosystem, as we found with nothing growing down there. No seagrass, no nothing. You see all this salmon trap inside. This is really sad. You can see the salmon and the lot huge, but as Jose said, it's just like a prison down there. Yeah. So they are all cramped in a very small space. And you could see that they are very distressed. They keep swimming and swimming in circles. This is not the idea that we may have of salmons living in open water. Salmon farming is factory farming. Putting thousands and thousands of animals in a very confined space. There are things that are more important than profit and money. We have an obligation, a responsibility to take care of our oceans for the people that will come after us. We depend, our life depends on the oceans. 